good morning you got <coughs> that's morning voice good morning you guys I am just getting up icing my face and I'm gonna head off and do some cardio in my garage but hello and welcome to the video if you're new here my name is Lauren Dana Meller so welcome to the vlog it is 7.30 right now and I'm gonna go and do, yeah, I'm gonna go do some cardio, but I'm really impressed. I think my face is finally like clearing up. I've been really focusing on my skincare and just really taking care of it because I, I was so bad in the past, even you know when I was younger, just always being out in the sun. You know, I live in Florida and you know, I just, I'm just gonna work on it now, now that I'm in you know, my late 20s. I just really need to get a hold on this now and just taking care of my skin and everything. So after I do my cardio, I'm gonna you know, do my skincare. But yeah, let's go do some cardio. I'm just gonna do like 30 minutes and then, yeah, I'm just gonna do like 30 minutes of cardio because I think Kyle and I are gonna work legs today. So yeah, just like, I just do low intensity. I just walk on my treadmill. I like to get movement in in the morning. I'm someone that like wakes up with like a ton of energy and I just prefer like doing some cardio, doing some movement because it keeps my energy going throughout the day when I do some movement in the morning. But is my skin clearing up? I hope so. I think I woke up with a good, uh, like it's, it's coming down here. I think I just, I deal with a lot of hormonal acne. Finished cardio, just in the shower. Let's wash the face. Now we got vitamin C. sunscreen you guys are probably like Lauren why the heck are you late to the program of putting sunscreen on your face every day I don't know honestly my foundation that I use has like 30 um, SPF in it but still I don't know why I'm so late to the game living in Florida but at least I'm starting now Okay, so got all that on and now I have a posing client. Um, I have two back-to-back -back posing clients this morning and then I can eat my breakfast, so yeah. <laughs> all right, let's walk it in. Give me that eye contact. Give me that eye contact, that sassy. Who is this girl coming in? She's owning that stage. All right, give me that sass. Yeah, who is this? Oh my goodness, wow. Good, and then you hit that smile, perfect. Okay, just finished posing and it's like almost 10 o'clock and I'm starving and I did not make my meal pretty at all and I just started eating it <laughs> already. But I just have um, avocado with chicken and onion in here and then my favorite little rice cake dip. Um, I'm gonna eat this cause I'm starving. Okay, let me take supplements. I got immune, my multivitamin, joint support, probiotic, gut support, and my fish oil. Okay, we're heading to the gym. It's leg day and I just wanna show you my outfit real quick by TLF. And this is the seamless line. They've had many different like revisions of the seamless line, but this is their latest revision. And it's my favorite, my favorite, no seams. That's why it's so comfortable. There's a slight little booty scrunch just at the bottom, but it doesn't go like all the way up. It's just slight, just to get a little bit of like contouring on the glutes. And it's super comfortable. So, and they have many different colors. I have an orange, I have a blue. 
I have a black and a gray. These are a little big. I, I'm, I usually get a small and these are a medium. So yeah, recently I've been actually getting smalls in the bottoms. But yeah. What's your weight and height right now? <laughs> Well, I'm doing a cut, you, as you guys saw in my last video, I'm doing a small little cut here, um, and I weigh like 129 right now. I'm um, just trying to tighten up a little bit for the Angel Fashion Show, and it's, it's in like eight days from now. Kyle already made my macros, and he already like set up my whole like little regimen of what I'm going to be doing, um, getting ready for it. But I'm already feeling tighter, I've been doing daily cardio. Nothing extreme, just doing some daily cardio. Um, but yeah, I'm not trying to like lose all this weight. I'm just, I just want to tighten up a little bit because you're going to be up on stage and everything. Okay, let's go train. Yeah. Okay, so fun fact about Kyle. He loves picking stuff up off of the street. <laughs> well, he does. Every time, uh, people put stuff on the road all the time and Kyle was buying like eyes, he goes, if that's not back, by the time I'm back, I'm gonna take it. And then, so it's, he always finds stuff on the road. But honestly, this is a pretty awesome chair, I'm not gonna lie. This is our neighbors across the street. Yeah, this is our neighbors across the street. Um, we cleaned it, we vacuumed it, and we cleaned the cushions. It's actually, like a, it's a really nice chair. We ended up putting it in his office. And then he finds this thing, which is kind of dirty, but he just cleaned it. Yeah, it's not good. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw, all, is in. Kyle's... I'm throwing all this out. Well, I don't know. It's for the time being, I guess. But it honestly was clean. And, but this is, that's Kyle's little, um, this is Kyle's hobby that he does. Oh. Every time. He, I'm like, no, we're not no, getting I'm that. On, I'm not on Facebook Marketplace or anything. Yeah, but he actually finds pretty good decent things um like in our backyard oh, yeah. show him that yeah he's, he's actually found some pretty decent things i'm not gonna lie um which is actually goes with the whole theme of our of our porch and backyard here let's see look this is all getting set up very nice well my grandma actually gave us that these we got these chairs. two blue chairs but yes we found these little chairs and we have guests over we can put them up right here he found this right here to put our plants and then he and then our next door neighbors were put this outside and it's blue and it fits well so next up we want to get a rug out here but we just love the backyard this is why we live here beautiful beautiful water Wait, I left my pre-workout in the garage. Do you think it's still bad? Do you think it's still bad? Or I don't you... think so. How long has it been? No, I think it's fine, right? How long has it been? Like two days. I was telling Kyle, I'm sure kids leave their pre-workouts in, the, in the back of their trunk. Depends where they live. Or we'll just go bad quicker, like more. I just do one scoop, that's all I need. Arctic blast. Yeah, I just ordered more stuff. Hey guys, so I know I haven't gone over my training in quite some time. So yeah, I just want to explain what has been going on currently with my training. So as you guys know, in the middle of like 2022, I kind of lost my spark a little bit in terms of training. You know, I really wasn't being the athlete I needed to be because I just... I got burnt out and you guys saw my previous YouTube videos of me kind of going through that but I'm really really happy right now because I have broken through that plateau that I was having within my training and at the end of 2022 into 2023 I have been feeling on top of the world you know I got that spark back and I have been training hard, getting in there and training with intent. And I found some movements that I really, really enjoy doing right now. Um, doing the dumbbell RDL, my sumo deadlifts, as you guys see me doing those. And then I've been doing this pendulum squat, which I love too. That feels really, really good on my body. 
yeah, I'm just really proud that I climbed out of that hole that I was in, like in the middle of 2022. Like I was not being the athlete I needed to be um, to reach the goals that I want to achieve. Like I was skipping gym sessions. I was kind of half-assing my training. But, you know, now at the end of 2022 and into 2023, currently right now, like I have been so on top of it. I haven't been skipping workouts. I've been getting into the gym consistently. I've been eating more calories. I've been putting on weight, which is helping me get stronger and putting on muscle in the gym. But I'm being careful. Like I'm not putting on too much body fat because I always want to be in that striking distance to compete again. And, you know, sometimes people on Instagram, like you see these girls that have like huge, huge glutes. And, um, but most of that, you know, is body fat and I'm a competitor, I'm a physique athlete. And if I want to be in that striking distance to potentially hit the stage when, when I want to, I always want to be in a fairly lean shape. But yeah, guys, I mean, we all kind of go through like funk periods of times, like even within your training or even within your goals. Like to be honest with you, I took time away after my last show, the Arnold Classic, which was a year ago. Oh my gosh, crazy. And as, as the months went on, I didn't even know if I ever wanted to compete ever again. Like I was going through such a funk where I was like, do I want to ever compete again? What am I doing? Do I love the sport? Do I not love the sport? Like I was just kind of going in a little rut within myself. Um, and But I'm glad that I did take that time away because I got to kind of recollect myself and focus on some other things and really understand what I truly, truly want. And deep down in my core and in my gut, I love competing. I do. I love it. I love pushing myself. I love the challenge. I love seeing my physique change year after year, like show after show. And it's it's so much more than just like winning first place to me anymore. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that I, you know, took this time away because I needed to realize this, right? Like I needed to realize this within myself. So I'm motivated, you guys. I'm really, really excited. I definitely got my spark back for sure. And I want to get up on that stage next time around and look improved. So every gym session is adding up for me. Every time I'm in there, I am visualizing myself on stage. See guys, that's what I'm talking about. Kyle sees that across the street. He wants to go pick that up. <laughs> oh, that's from my client. She gave me some um, some brownies. We should try them right now. Oh, and Monet. Okay, but Kyle thought those were both his shoes. Said, those are my shoes, and obviously, they're my things. <laughs> He's gonna see if he wants it or not. Kyle, I don't know about that. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> He's gonna hate me for this. Aren't you dieting though? Yeah. But I can taste test and tap some. Um, oh yeah, so Sharina has a client that makes um, brownies that are healthy. But look, I got, um, I might have to put them in the, actually I'm probably gonna put them in the refrigerator and have them cool off a little bit. But I'll definitely have one. Oh look, chocolate ones, wow, that's so nice. My client Sharina. You've said that thank a few you. times. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, maybe I'll taste one right now. Or put in the fridge for a sec. Or, all right. Whatever, it's post-workout, I'm like shaky. Let's see. Oh. Do you know what's in it? Is on the back say what's in it, or? Uh, I need to go on their website. I need to go on the website. But she, her client makes these. Are they so, like clean ingredients or something? Yeah, I love that right there, that's clean ingredients. This is the birthday cake one, so let's try. I don't know, Lauren's nice. Maybe I need to try and tell you honest. No, it's good, it, it's like, it's healthy. It's all healthy ingredients. I really like this. I mean, I don't know how I like that. I like it. Here, take a bite. 
I want to take a picture for her and send it and see if it's so good. Do you like it? They're healthy, baby. Yeah, it's not bad. Good ingredients. That's pretty good. I'll take a picture for her. Okay, eating my meal outside. Nima wants to join me. Okay, little girl. Got some meal here. Just made a little decaf with my espresso. And I'm gonna get to the rest of my client check-ins. Throft some milk. Ooh. I always like something sweet after I eat and this is like the perfect little thing for me. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze my lemon water. I bought this at Publix. Who's seen that? The Last of Us. That's what Kyle and I've been watching. It's on HBO though, it's really good. Anyways, I'm making my lemon water before in the morning. So happy I invested in one of these things. Makes it so much easier. Kyle and I have a recipe that we found on like TikTok or something to make cleaning supplies out of all this, so I'm gonna try that out. Look at all that lemon juice. So what I do is I just put just a little bit in each one, not too much. I swear this in the morning, I just put it on some hot water and I put a, some, a little bit of ginger. My gut has been incredible. It's my, I've been digesting my food, it's the ginger. I see some girls, they put ginger shots already in here, and then also they put chia seeds in here too. Yeah, you should do the ginger for me. Oh, you actually want that? Okay. I'm not gonna put too much in there because Kyle just wants a little bit of flavoring. So yeah, this is ginger. And then she'll fill it up with water, put it in the freezer, mm -hmm. have some ice cubes. Makes your water, you'll drink more water too. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting minerals water. from it all too, because we have a reverse osmosis water, so. Put a little bit of salt. Yeah, or even that mineral, nice. what about that mineral stuff that people, the minerals, like. I know, I've been wanting to get min mineral salt that has like sodium, potassium. Or just minerals that are in water that we're taking out when we filter mm, it. No, and really you put it in there and then you add that to your water. Yeah. Okay, my little treat, I do a kombucha. This one is actually, in, I think St. Petersburg, Florida. Oh, that's done. But I put it in a wine glass to make me feel fancy. And then I'll put some ice cubes in there. Hello, hello, good morning. And it is Sunday morning and I am sitting outside of the gym right now waiting for it to open up because it opens up at eight and it opens up in like 12 minutes. But yeah, I'm here to work back because Kyle and I weren't able to do it two days ago. Um, we had to cut our workout short, so I only worked shoulders. And as you guys know, I do upper lower body splits, so I'll work upper body, lower body. That's just how I do it. Um, but yeah, we had to cut it short the other day and just do shoulders. So here today, working back, because back is important for me. I think it really, really helps with my shape on the bikini stage, because I kind of have a wider waist from the side, from like that side pose. And if I have like a bigger lat, it just really helps with my taper. And I cannot skip working my lats. So that's why I'm here, waiting for this gym to open. Yeah, yesterday, Kyle and I, we went to the beach all day. And um, I went to bed super early just because like being out in the sun all day wears you out. I was so exhausted when we got home and I went to bed at like nine o'clock just because I was so tired. Today, I plan on seeing my grandma because she, you know, she's getting older and I just want to be a good granddaughter and I want to visit her as much as possible and she doesn't live too far away from me so I just need to make it a priority to, to visit her as much as possible and I'm gonna be gone for two weeks I am going to the Arnold so I'm not gonna be able to see her 
that weekend and then Kyle and I are going to Colorado so I'm not gonna be able to see her that weekend either so I just today I'm going to go and visit her so hey if you this is just a reminder to maybe go and visit your grandparents or give them a call and just say hello I mean it is just really important and it makes their world it makes their day it makes their week honestly seeing you or hearing from you so I'm gonna go and do that today after the gym after the gym I do have some posing clients that I need to do this morning I do some posing on Sunday as well and then after that I will then head over and go visit my grandma so yeah happy Sunday you guys I don't know what else I'm gonna be vlogging today Oh, today is definitely hair wash day, too. <laughs> I gotta wash this hair today. I haven't washed it in like, I don't know, five days. So I gotta wash this hair. Yay, great workout. Got it done. Now to get home, eat, posing client, and get ready for the day. Headed out to see my Mimi, and look how cute these pants are. I got them from Bell's Outlet. They had a ton of beach pants. So cute, I got all these different um, colors and different styles. Bells, that's what I'm talking about. Got to myself a big coffee. Yeah, Americano. How old is he? He looks like he's like three, yeah. Well, that was nice. I walked the beach a little bit, and then we had some lunch together. Always good seeing my Mimi. Okay, just pulled up to my PT appointment, and I have some time, so I thought I would chat with you guys for a little bit. But yeah, PT, I actually haven't seen my PT for like, I don't know. I think the last time I went was... Um, after the Arnold so I think no it's been probably like seven or even eight months since I've seen my PT and um, yeah I just as you guys know I have like shoulder issues and I just really want to stay healthy especially since I'm gonna be starting a prep here soon I just I really want to make sure that um, I stay healthy within my upper body especially when I get into prep and then when I am in prep I will definitely see uh, my PT probably like once a month for like maintenance stuff as well um, but yeah so I'm here now I'm gonna get that done and I'm leaving for the Arnold on Friday so I'm leaving in like four days so I've just kind of been preparing for the trip and you know packing I just want to make sure I have everything bringing like all my supplements with me and clothing and I know it's freezing there um, and everything but with the little uh, mini cut like type of situation that I've been doing um, I haven't dropped any weight and honestly I've been feeling so freaking exhausted bloated um, sorry this is too much information if I have some male followers that like listen to this but yeah I was just feeling so tired I had no energy I was feeling so bloated and then I was like what the heck is going on like I wasn't dropping any weight um, I was looking kind of worse and then bang I got my period today so Oh, I hate PMSing so much. I mean, I, I know a lot of women deal with bad PMS, but yeah, I just deal with like, I, I, am, I get constipated, I get very moody, I get really tired, and I'm, I hold on to water, and so I'm just really glad I have my period now because it will be over with when I go to the Arnold. So, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I haven't really seen like too much of a change in my body over the past like few days um, or actually longer than that. So I'm hoping that I see like a big kind of result here um, in the next couple of days when my period is done and over with um, because yeah, I've been kind of like in a deficit. I'm doing cardio um, and I've just been really consistent with my training and stuff and, um, and everything. So yeah, it's just... That's just what happens being a female and the PMSing freaking sucks. Um, but yeah, this week I just kind of plan on making sure I'm 
drinking my water, I'm kind of monitoring my sodium, and then I'm gonna start kind of tapering up carbs too because like when I do that, like I lose water retention, um, I'm gonna kind of limit my fiber a little bit too just because, yeah, I'm gonna be up on stage for the Angel Fashion Show and, you know, I wanna look good for it, right? We're gonna take pictures and stuff. Um, up on stage and I have a couple photo shoots lined out too um, so I'm really excited to be doing some photo shoots and um, doing some content stuff and I just, I just want to look good you guys I want to the main thing is just I just want to make sure that I my stomach looks good so kind of going into a little mini peak week right here which is water monitoring my water my sodium and then um, I'm gonna start kind of minimizing my fiber intake and just upping up my carbs and then hopefully by Saturday I'm looking spot on so really excited for the trip um, me and my girlfriend Ashley we're rooming together and um, I'm, just, I'm just really excited we're gonna have some good time together and I'm there until Monday well I leave on Monday but yeah, I just wanted to um, share what's been going on with my cut and everything. And uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to end the video here. So thank you guys for watching my videos and my vlogs. And I appreciate all the support and all the people that watch me. I mean, I, I really, really appreciate you guys. And um, yeah, okay. So I plan on vlogging at the Arnold. I'm, I'm excited to go. I mean, I can't believe that last year I was competing there and this year I'm just going to go and like support and cheer on the competitors. And then obviously I just love going and like meeting people. Um, that's probably my favorite part is just like meeting you guys. So, Hey, if you see me around or if you're doing the angel fashion show and you see me backstage, let's take some pictures, you know, please say hello. I love talking to you guys. But, um, okay guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.